Now one thing I wanted to do for you tonight was just give you just some idea of how when flood affects York, it doesn't actually affect much of the city. So if you just look here, we've got these properties which always get hit down on the banks of the Ouse, down in the city centre. But if I just swing round here like that, past the sightseers there, and there's the Ginner restaurant, which at the moment is that close to the floodwaters, but is still open for business. There are people in there eating tonight. And then if you look up there, up the top of the hill, there's the rest of York there. And that is the real city centre there. That is the bit that is well and truly open for business tonight. So it just gives you some idea of perhaps when you see the national news, how uh, the impression of the situation in York is wrong. That's, that's the city up there. That's the bulk of it. But it doesn't take away from the fact that for the owners of the businesses down here, this is a real pain in the neck again. This was what it was like in September for them. And they've got to go through all this again.